Satan, Lucifer, and Beelzebub. You've probably heard these names used interchangeably in conversations, movies, and books, suggesting they all refer to the same being, Satan, the ultimate adversary of humanity and God. But is that the whole story? Far from it. Each name carries a unique backstory and role within Christian theology. Today, we're on a mission to clear up the confusion and explore the fascinating origins and meanings of these names. Ready for a little divine detective work? Let's get started and uncover the truth behind these celestial monikers. The name Satan stems from the Hebrew word Shaitan, meaning adversary or accuser. In the Bible, Satan is not just an evil entity, but the opposition to God's will, tempting and misleading humanity. Rather than ruling hell, as often depicted in popular culture, he is described as wandering the earth or standing before God to accuse humans, like in the book of Job. This evolution from a divine prosecutor in early texts to the epitome of evil illustrates Satan's multifaceted role as humanity's foremost tempter. Lucifer, meaning light bringer in Latin, is used in the translation of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, to describe a fallen angel, often equated with Satan. This passage's original aim likely targeted a Babylonian king, likening his fall to that of the morning star, or Venus, from the sky. Over centuries, the conflation of Lucifer with Satan solidified his image as the prideful angel who sought to overthrow God, but was instead hurled down to hell, marking him as a figure of rebellion and pride within Christian lore. Beelzebub, translating to Lord of the Flies, originated as a derogatory reference to the Canaanite god Baal. This name's evolution from a deity associated with fertility and storms to a representation of filth and evil showcases its integration into Christian demonology. Beelzebub is often depicted as a high-ranking demon or synonymous with Satan, especially in the New Testament where Jesus is accused of exercising demons in Beelzebub's name. This shift from a pagan god to a demon underscores the adaptation and reinterpretation of non-Christian deities within Christian theology, embodying defiance against the divine. In Christian tradition, these beings serve as symbols of temptation pride, and rebellion, each with a unique role and representation in scriptures and theological interpretations. Satan is often portrayed as the grand adversary of God and humanity, a role cemented in the New Testament. His presence is felt from the temptation of Adam and Eve in Genesis to the testing of Jesus in the desert. Satan's role is not just to tempt, but to challenge the faith of humans, acting as a catalyst for testing, and ultimately for demonstrating the power of God's grace and redemption. Lucifer's story is one of pride and fall, primarily derived from interpretations of Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, and further embellished in Christian tradition. He embodies the dangers of pride and ambition, illustrating how these can lead to one's downfall. Lucifer's fall from grace serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of attempting to usurp God's position, reinforcing themes of humility and obedience in the face of divine authority. Beelzebub is depicted differently across Christian texts, sometimes as a distinct demon, other times synonymous with Satan. His name appears in the Gospels, 
notably when Jesus is accused of expelling demons by Beelzebub's power. This accusation highlights Jesus' authority over evil and the kingdom of darkness, turning an attempt to discredit his miracles into a testament to his divine mission. Beelzebub's symbolizes the continuous struggle between good and evil within Christian theology. Together, these figures represent a complex interplay of moral and spiritual forces, each serving as a touchstone for teachings on sin, redemption, and the nature of evil. I hope this helps clarify the unique stories of Satan, Lucifer, and Beelzebub, enriching your understanding and journey in faith. Remember, knowing their differences sheds light on the nuances of our beliefs. <laughs>